Okay, hello there. Uh, this is a short and brief example video for lecture 3.4. Uh, basically, the case study regarding free fall. Alright, so I'm choosing a few questions, I think two questions to discuss. Uh, free fall, right? Free fall on its own is mainly asked in objectives or paper 1. Normally, in paper 2, uh, free fall will be combined with another subtopic. So we will see that in the rebound questions, lah, which will be 3.5. So let us begin. Here you have a <coughs> tube where there is like a feather here that is falling inside the tube. The tube is length L. And the feather takes time T to reach the bottom. How far would the feather have fallen? Half, in half of the time, 0 0.5 T. So there are a few ways to do this and I will show you both ways. The first way is using the graphing method. Okay, so the most... Um, useful graph to draw, excuse me, would be the velocity against time graph. So like from here, I know that there is constant acceleration. So I'm just going to draw a VT graph in a straight line. All right, you should be familiar with this graph after watching the lecture. Okay, so <coughs> L is this blue color area. This blue color triangle is L. And half of the time, T over 2 is this small green triangle. Okay, so I think you can see that these are actually two uh, similar triangles and we want to find the area of the green triangle because area is distance traveled uh, in terms of the blue triangle. So you can see this is similar triangle. Uh. So if T is V, then T over 2 will be V over 2. So then I can just say L blue triangle is equal to Vt times half and L prime will be V over 2, T over 2 times half. Of course, the easiest way to get rid of Vt is to divide. All right. So if I divide them and simplify, I can cancel off my um, Vt and also my half. And what is left here is 101 over 4. After some rearranging, your L prime, which is your new length, is a quarter. Okay, which makes sense, right? Okay, another method is to use your Stuva method. And eh, this one. So I'm going to do Stuva for the entire length of the tube where this is L and T. And Stuva for half the time. Okay, so if you list down right, S-T-U-V-A, length of the tube is L. Okay, time taken is T. For half the time, then this will be L prime. Since the feather is dropping from initial speed 0, so this one U will be equal to 0, U, U will be equal to 0. No? We don't really care about the final velocity. It's not our concern in this question. And the acceleration is, as usual, the acceleration of gravity. So we can form two equations. Uh, okay. So I use S is ut plus half at square. So I will get L is equal to negative half gt square. And L prime will be negative half gt over 2 square. All right. So I divide both equations now. Okay, so after dividing and simplifying and cancelling off all the like terms, I will end up with the same answer. Now, which one I recommend? Uh, as mentioned before, if you are in my class, it really depends on which one you are more comfortable with. Okay, they are both fine for me. All right, next question. This is from FM18, paper 1, 2. Girl throws a ball vertically upward and it takes a time of 3.2 seconds to return to her hand. So she throws the ball up and the ball goes up, come down. No air resistance. What is the initial speed? You stuva again, no? So if let's say you return back to the hand, uh, the displacement travel will be zero. Because you go up, come down, you return back to your hand already. Ma. Right? And it took 3.2 seconds. We are looking for the initial speed. Again, we don't really it's not our concern to think about the final speed. And we can now find the acceleration, which is negative 9.81. Alright? So I'll use S is ut plus half at squared again, substituting all the values in. All right. So uh, just pressing the calculator, and then I'll get the answer as about 15.7. So generally, the main idea about this kind of free fall question, right, is that you should probably think about something along the lines of like, which one works better for me? Should I uh, perform, use the equations or should I actually uh, draw a graph? Like for example, this one is a pretty straightforward question. So the graph is not necessary. All right. There are more challenging questions in your uh, objectives. So please try them. 
uh, you know where to find the questions, okay? And fill in uh, whatever needs filling in, uh, depending on what your teacher has set up for you. All right, so I will see you in the next video where the free fall will begin to rebound. All right, so not rebound relationships, just rebound balls and rebound stones. All right, I will see you there. Take care then. Bye-bye.